What is going on guys? It's your boy Reality Spin. We are back here with another video this time around. Uh, I apologize for the delay first off, but we're going to be taking a look at the new characters that were revealed. We have three of them total. Uh, it's been quite some time since they got revealed. I apologize. Uh, it's been a hectic two weeks. Damn near three, but we're back at it. We're back at it. Uh, Arlequino's still busted, if you're asking. But let's go ahead and get into some of these characters. First one that we have is Sethos. Uh, nice little text here. We shall have the dexterity of the fox and the agility of the flying serpent. The wisdom of Ermanubis shall also bestow its favor upon you. Your name shall be Sethos. Divination from a priest during the name a name giving ceremony. So this is Sethos, we saw him in the latest trailer for 4.6. Um, I think he's gonna be coming out uh or not coming out but he's going to be seen in Sinnoh's uh, second story quest uh in the second half of the um, of this patch so definitely something to keep an eye on please see the image here we go uh he looks really cool i gotta say guys he looks his design for it being a four star is amazing like i'm getting his design is giving like cave vibes in 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 terms of like how well it looks because it, everything like just complements itself so well um he's gonna be electro and he's also gonna be a bow user um in terms of what he's gonna be i don't know if he's gonna be like a sub dps a main dps a support i don't really i'm not too sure uh i think i'd like him to be i don't know honestly uh electro bow user Do we have like an electro bow user that we have Fischl, Sarah. Fischl's a sub DPS, Sarah's a support. I guess I, if he's a DPS. That'd be cool. But I hope, I hope he's useful if he's a uh, if he's a DPS and he can actually not necessarily compete or outshine some of the five stars. But I guess compete would be nice. Uh, I don't think that should be an issue. But uh, yeah, name Sethos, title Wisdom's Measure, Desert Envoy, Vision Electro, Constellation Basilios Delta. Uh, we did also see some cool little tidbits of information where it looked, or uh, of information during the trailer where it looked like him and uh, Sinnoh were squaring off. So definitely going to be interested to see how that how that goes and his involvement in uh, Sinnoh's uh, second story quest. So some something to look forward to. Uh, I'm pretty excited for him. He lo he looks cool. Uh, and for me, if if the character looks cool, that that that's that's all I need, honestly. Uh, let's see. Got here his a quick description for him. Uh, let's see. Inexperienced travelers often find themselves trapped by the vast, boundless sea of sand. Were it not for the timely guidance of a kind soul, their journey of exploration might have come to an untimely end, cruelly cut short. Many of those who were lost and returned to their companions on the road all had the same name upon their lips: Sethos, Kaiba. A great sense of direction, enthusiastic and talkative. These are all common impressions among those who have been on the receiving end of Sethos's guidance. And it is quite true. As a desert sweller, desert dweller, Sethos knows the path between blah blah blah. blah. All right, I'm gonna read this. Um, yeah, he looks cool, man. He looks really cool. Uh, I'm super excited for the character, and I can't wait to see what he does. Moving quite along. Next character that we have is Sejuin. I am super excited for this character because she is adorable, and she's also a Melusine. Sejuin is the most unique out of all of, out of all the Melusine friends my parents know. They say she was a guest, a guest at our place a long time ago, and that she held my hand supporting me when I had just learned to walk. Many years have passed since then, and I have become an adult. She, on the other hand, is just as meticulous and enthusiastic as ever. Uh, Sejuin, name Sejuin, title Wondrous Dragonair. Ooh, cool. uh, Melusine Head Nurse, Vision Hydro, Constellation Nereides. <coughs> Excuse me. Um... Hydrovision, obviously. Uh, I assume she's going to be a healer. I, I really don't see anything else that she can be. Uh, maybe she's got like some uh, sub-DPS capabilities, or maybe she can like apply Hydro at a decent rate. 
but she's got to be a healer. She's a nurse. What else? Is, what else is she gonna be? Um, I don't know if she, what uh, weapon she's gonna be either. Hydro. Could she be a full arm user? Could she be? I my first guess would be Catalyst, but I guess uh, I guess we'll find out. But she looks cool. She's adorable. I loved her in the Archon quest. Uh, and I love her interactions with Risley, and especially her interactions with Nouvellet. She's, uh, she's an awesome character. So uh, I'm excited that we're getting a Melusine. Uh, I know technically she's just like in the kid body, but that doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to see what uh, what she's all about. I assume she's going to be a healer of some sort, uh, and Hydro is a good element for that to be. So uh, hopefully she's better than Coco Me. Be nice. Uh, let's see what else do we have here. Uh, infirmary is the warmest place in the Fortress of Meripede where the sun fails to shine. Rumor has it that the head nurse who manages said inf infirmary is also its founder. The fortress has its, has changed hands in chaotic circumstances several times over the centuries. There's always been a tacit agreement amongst all who live here not to harm the medical staff in any way. The reason for this is simple. Few doctors can endure treating criminals and stay in such a place for long. Fuhrer would still be as clement, cute, conscientious, and considerate as Sijuin. There was once an inmate whose life Sijuin saved after he had been gravely injured while causing trouble, who then proclaimed her to be an emissary of the heavens, an angel of salvation, sent to bring redemption to criminals, even saying that he would preach this far and wide on her behalf. That's a bit much, isn't it? The head nurse shook her head, her horns bobbly, bobbing along. Those are horns? I guess. I won't ask what you did before saving you, but you'll still have to finish serving your sentence. Once you've healed up, she said. Hands on hips. Flattery's not getting you anywhere. Uh, yeah, she's adorable. She's awesome. She's so cute. Uh, I'm excited for the character. Uh, excited to get another healer. And I hope... I hope she's a good healer. I hope she's a good character. So, we'll see. Uh, five star. I assume she'll have some good heals, so... We'll see what uh, what Sijuin has to bring along. And of course, Chlorant. Oh my god, guys. What are we doing? What's going on here, huh? Ah, I have no words. Um, word to the wise, friend. The evidence against you is irre irrefutable. If you want to uphold your honor, atonement is an option. You could still do much good. There's no need to resort to a duel. I mean, your opponent is Clarend. That Clarend, you hear? Oh, for the love of Fountain of Lucene. If you go up against her, you'll wind up without even the strength to confess your crimes. A sincere letter that a certain wealthy merchant who had pleaded not guilty received on the eve of a duel. Name Clarend. Title, Candlebearer, Shadowhunter. Champion Duelist, Vision Electro. Constellation, Raperia. Um... I think she's going to be an Electro Sword user. God, I really want her to use a gun. Just please, whatever she does, have it involve her gun. In some way, shape, or form. I mean, this character is... Lord, she is beautiful. I need her to use her gun. And I need her to be good, alright? I really want her to be a DPS. Uh an on-field DPS. That'd be nice. So I hope that she is a on-field DPS. Her design is amazing. Yeah, I just really need her to be an on-field DPS. Just make her an on-field DPS. Make her able to be used with anything, not just overloaded. Thank you. Don't lock her to a team. Uh, make her flexible. Uh, I like what they did with, um, with Arlequino. Uh, even though she's incredibly powerful and probably the strongest character in the game. Uh, but I hope Clarend, I hope they continue with, with what they've been doing with the Fontaine characters. Honestly, guys, uh, in general, all the Fontaine characters have been hits. Like, even some of the, the lesser complicated ones, like Risley, Charlotte, uh, trying to think of who else Lynette like those characters are still I still see all of those as hits they're all awesome and they are and the DPS are just incredibly strong in so many different ways so uh, 
I'm going to be interested to see how Clorand works. I'm also going to be interested to see how the rest of the, ca the cast or the characters work in terms of Sijuin uh, and Sethos. Even though Sethos is going to be technically a Sumeru character. So I guess we'll see how that works. But um, yeah, guys, the next 4.7 is looking to be quite a healthy patch. Uh, one can only hope that the eventual Natland bomb that they drop doesn't have too many characters it's gonna have a bunch of characters who am i kidding uh and they're gonna run us dry on our primos so i hope you guys decided to start saving uh and are deciding on who you want to pull i don't even know if i'm gonna be able to pull for on all these characters i'd love to get all of them but it's it's gonna be hard to get both five stars unfortunately um and i guess we'll see when sethos uh what banner sethos is on and it's decision time from there but um Anyways, guys, I think that's a good place to end off the video. Uh, let me know which one of the characters you are the most excited for. Is it Clarand? Is it Sethos? Is it Sijuin? Let me know in the comments. And as always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the other videos that we have on the channel. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Take care, everyone.